This is the beginning of Module 4, Ratios and Proportional Relationships, Lesson 4.1, Unit Rates. And we're going to work on the standard 7.RP.1, RPs for ratios and proportions, computing unit rates associated with, frac with ratios of fractions, including ratios of lengths, area, and other quantities measured in like or different units. So what we're going to work on, a couple things to keep in mind here, is a ratio is a comparison between two quantities. So like, say, miles to hours or cost to uh, how many units that you got, um, distance to time. Those would be examples of rates. Um, a rate is a special type of ratio so that when two quantities are compared, they have different units. So like what I just gave as an example. We're also going to work with complex fractions. That's where a fraction is divided by a fraction. And I'm going to show you an easy way on how to be able to go through that process so that you can figure out what your answer is. Then the other one is unit rates, which is what we're talking about here. Remember, unit rate is something per one. So I've written that up here, something, the bar, the fraction line here, per one. So this might be miles per one hour or dollars per one unit of some. How are we going to find and use unit rate. So as we do here, we're looking in the Explorer activity and we're going to read the word problem. Jeff hikes a half mile every 15 minutes or quarter hour. Lisa hikes one third mile every 10 minutes or one sixth hour. How far do they each hike in one hour and two hours? It's two questions that are being asked. So as I've always said to you, we need to underline or highlight our information. So we got half. So we have to highlight all our information that we believe is important to us. So I'm going to highlight here the half mile every 15 minute or quarter hour. Lisa hikes a third mile every 10 minutes or one sixth of an hour. How far do they hike in one hour and in two hours? So we have a bar diagram here. So use the bar diagram to help you determine how many miles Jeff hikes. How many quarter hours are there in one hour? So they have it shown here one, two, three, four. So what that means is that he's going to hike one half mile every quarter hour. So at this point here, we're going one half plus one half is one. So one plus one is two. So he's going to hike two miles in. So if we come down here to the table, this is a bar model for us. So it's a half mile. Now we don't put a half here. We're going to uh, uh, add them. So a half plus a half is one and then he's going to be at one one half he's going to be two he goes two miles in one hour how far do you think he's going to go in two hours one times what number two so what we do here we have to do here so two times two so i'll let you figure out what. so this one down here is for lisa and it told us up above that she's going to hike one third mile every one sixth hour so we're going to do the same thing just like what we did up here at top. So we're going to put one third, one third. We're going to add all those together. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six thirds. So that is going to be two. So now we're going to add. So this is going to be two thirds, three thirds, four thirds. I want to stop here because one of the mistakes that students get is that we get into this pattern, okay? Um, here we're increasing by a third each. I'm going to stop right here because this goes up by a third. This is one six, so this is really two six here. This is three six. But is this four six? No. This is, this is actually six six. So we need to figure out what's going to go in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six six. So actually this is going to be two. So now if we go to two miles, then this is going to be, we're going to double that, okay? So we're going to multiply by 2. So we got to multiply this by 2. And this down here, by the way, is going to be 12, 6. So in the Explorer activity, you can look, how do you find Jeff's distance in 3 quarters hour? This one here throws a lot of students. Which hiker walks further in 1 hour? So when you compare the two, and that's the key, compare. Look at Lisa, look at Jeff, and then make a comparison. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think when we did this, and they're talking about at one hour, so when you compare those two, which one is faster? How would you answer that? The next section here, finding unit rate. A rate 
is a comparison of two quantities that have different units. Ratios and rates can be expressed as fractions. A rate or ratio with a denominator of one is called a unit rate. And we've talked about that up at the top. So they give you an example here where they have 60 miles over two hours. So this is a rate because it's something over something. And the way that we can find our unit rate is we do division. Because remember, a fraction is a division problem. So 60 divided by 2. The units stay because there, we, we haven't shown a way on how to cancel those out yet. So then 60 miles every 2 hours is equivalent or proportional to 30 miles every 1 hour. Now here, they're talking about a complex fraction. It is a fraction over a fraction, or you can take an integer over a fraction or vice versa. And what this is saying is that this person is going to go 15 miles every half hour. So the example here, example one, is really great. So let's go ahead and highlight the important information. 55 square feet every half hour, and then how many square feet does she paint per hour? So here they're going through the steps, okay? And they write down area painted over time, so you come up with 55 square feet over every half hour. Little note here, the fraction represents area in square feet per time in hours. And then what we do is we do the complex fraction. And what I like about this, it really helps you out. I wish they would have done one more step, though. I wish they had to put this over 55 over 1. Okay? So, 55 square feet divided by 1 half. Now, this is something you're already used to. Now, if you guys remember, in class, I kind of like talking about my KFC because I like to find out my favorite chicken. Okay? We're going to keep this. We're going to flip the division to the multiplication. And then we're going to change, or we're going to invert the second fraction. So that's what they do here. They invert that. And then you just simply, you can multiply straight across. Okay? That is the steps for dividing fractions. should already know that, but if you don't, that's what you got to do. That's why I show you complex fractions. Don't let the name fool you. It's not really complex. You just simply rewrite it into the format that you already used. A fraction divided by a fraction. Go through the steps, and now you're going to get 110 square feet per hour. So that's how much Angela is going to paint every hour. I'm going to go ahead and help you out here with your terms. Page mows one-sixth of an acre in one-quarter hour. How many acres does Page mow per hour? So we got to get this to one hour, okay? So I'm going to, let's highlight one-sixth acre in one-quarter hour. How many acres per hour. So I'm going to set this up as a complex fraction. Now I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my KFC. Keep the first one. Flip my division to a multiplication. And then change or invert my second fraction. So now it's going to become 1 sec times 4 over 1. Now I just simply multiply straight across. Page is going to mow four six of an acre per hour. We know we can reduce this. Okay, what number goes into both the four and the six? And that's two. So I'm going to you divide by two. I uh, divide by two. One thing we're going to learn is is that for uh, equation balance, what you do on one side of the equal sign, you do on the other, or what you do in the numerator, you do in the denominator, or vice versa. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So it's 2 thirds of an acre per hour. So I'm going to help you set up this last problem, but you're going to go through the steps. Greta uses 3 cups of pasta for every 3 quarter cups of sauce. How much pasta does she use per cup? Then it's going to be rewrite it in the format that you're used to. 3 divided by 3 fourths. I'm going to put this over 1. Now, I still have a whole number here, but that helps me out with my fraction. I'm going to do KFC. I'm going to keep my first number the way it is. Change that to a multiplication. I'm sorry, flip that to a multiplication, and then change this to uh, invert it so it's 4 over 3. So I verbally told you what you need to do. You need to write that out and then figure out what the uh, how much pasta she uses per cup of sauce. So we have here using unit rates. 
Uh, again, simplifying rates and ratios, they have some more examples. So two pools are leaking. After 15 minutes, pool A has leaked a half gallon. After 20 minutes, pool B has leaked three quarter gallon. Which pool is leaking faster? So we have to do a comparison. That is so key here for you guys. Do a comparison between pool A and pool B. So a 15 minutes is a quarter hour. So they set it up here. They take the two-thirds of a gallon right there. They take the 15 minutes and they put it into a quarter because 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. So they have it set up as a complex fraction. Then they do the same thing with the pool B. It's leaking at three-quarters gallon, so that's set up right here. And then it's at, at a rate of 20 minutes. So 20 minutes is one-third of an hour. So now we have like terms that we can use. As we go down, they're going through the steps. So two-thirds divided by one-fourth. I'm just going to go straight down for pool A. They flip it. They do the KFC. Two-thirds times four over one. And then you multiply straight across. So then you get two times four is eight, and three times one is three. So, and then they change it from an improper to a mixed fraction or a mixed number, and it's two and two thirds gallons per hour. Go through the same thing on pool B, and ultimately you're going to get to nine fourths or two and a quarter. So the question was who was leaking faster? So, which one leaks more? So, two and two thirds is a greater number than two and a quarter. So pool A is leaking faster. On the your turn here, Jalen makes limeade using three quarters cup water per one fifth cup lime juice. Wanchin makes limeade using two third cup water per one sixth cup lime juice. Find the unit rates of water in cups per lime juice. Whose limeade has a weaker lime flavor? Now I'm going to give you a hint. Weaker lime flavor means that one has either more water or less lime. Which one has either more water if the limeades or this, if the lime juice is the same? Or which one has less lime if they're not the same? And the water is the same. So you're going to have to work that out. Okay? Set it up as a complex fraction. Let me know what you come up with. We have various guided practice problems down here. We have various guided practice problems down here that you want to go ahead and look at. Uh, remember, you've got to do all the odd problems. So this one, find the unit rate. So like number three, Kenny reads five eight pages in two thirds minutes. Five eighths divided by two thirds. On your essential question, how can you find a unit rate when given a rate? So if you go back uh, to the top when you're looking at uh, the first introduction, they had 60 miles per two hours. What was it that you did? What mathematical operation? So that takes you to the end here of uh, lesson 4.1. Good luck.